Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will talk about operational amplifier. I'll explain you how to draw a comparator circuit using three identical resistors and a thermistor. Very important concept about operational amplifier. For question 7 part A, simply we need to draw circuit on figure 7.1. We need to use three identical resistors and resistance of each resistor is 1000 ohms. We also need to use one negative temperature coefficient thermistor. Negative temperature coefficient thermistor often we call this one NTC thermistor. It simply means that the resistance of this thermistor depends on temperature. When the temperature is higher, resistance of this resistor will be lower. And when temperature is low, resistance of this thermistor will be higher. So this is very important point we need to understand about NTC thermistor. This is a special kind of resistor and its resistance depends on temperature. Now the next thing question is telling us that we need to design a circuit that condition is that at low temperature output V out means the output has to be negative and when temperature is higher output has to be positive. Simply we can write down here when temperature is low V out has to be negative. When temperature is low resistance of thermistor will be higher. The second condition is that when temperature is higher, V out has to be positive. And when temperature is higher, resistance of thermistor will be lower. Let me explain to you a little bit about potential divider. As you can see here, we have potential divider circuit here and you can see there are two resistors and they are connected in series. Let's say the resistance of this resistor is equal to 4 ohms. Let's say this is 4 ohms and resistance of this resistor, let's say this is 2 ohms. If we connect our voltmeter across resistor 1, you will simply say the reading on this voltmeter will be equal to 4 volts because the resistance of this one is double than resistance of second resistor. If we connect our voltmeter across this second resistor, voltmeter reading will be 2 volts. Now the question is that if I ask you what is value of potential at this point, you will simply say this is 6 volt. And if I ask you what is value of potential at this point, you will simply say this is zero volt. Then the question is that what is value of potential at this point? Now you need to understand is that at this side the potential is zero and the potential difference is two volt. So the potential at this point simply will be equal to two volts. And this understanding is very important and we need this one to draw the circuit. If this point is very clear to you, drawing this circuit is not difficult. So let me show you how to draw this circuit. Let's try to understand a little bit more about potential divider and then I will go to this circuit and I will explain you. As you can see here, in this case, when R1, this is greater than R2. To value at this point means I can say this potential V1. This one is smaller. This value is low. And when R1 is smaller than R2, you will see V1 means I'm saying this potential is V1. This potential will be higher. So simply you can understand like this. Let's say R1, I replace this one. The resistance of this one, let's say, is 2 ohms now. And resistance of this resistor, let's say, is 4 ohms. Now simply you will say the potential at this point, that will be equal to 4 ohms volts. Now this is very important point. Simply we will use this one and we will check the circuit. Is this circuit is cracked or is this circuit is not cracked. Now for first condition when temperature is low V out has to be negative and resistance will be higher. So in this case simply we can say this resistance will be higher. So this resistance will be higher when temperature is 
low. So when this resistance is higher, so the potential at this point, potential will be lower. It simply means that V plus will be lower than V negative. In this case, V out will be negative. So this one is correct. Let's check the second condition now. When the temperature is higher, resistance of thermistor will be lower. When temperature is higher, resistance of thermistor will be lower. When resistance of thermistor is lower, as you can see, when R1 is lower, R1 is smaller, then R2, V1 has to be greater. The value of potential at this point that will be greater so it means that v plus will be greater than v negative and in this case v out will be positive so over circuit is correct this is how you need to draw the circuit i hope now you are very clear about this Part B is simply asking us, we need to state a suitable value for the thermistor resistance when the thermistor is at low temperature and V out is negative. So the first thing we need to understand is that when V out will be negative, V out will be negative when the potential at A is greater than potential at B. So we can simply say that when V A is greater than V B, V out will be negative. So simply we can say V out will be negative. V out will be negative when V A is greater than V B. Let's say the resistance of this thermistor is R. As you know, all these resistors are identical resistors and resistance of each resistor is equal to 1000 ohms and this is given in the question let's say the resistance of this thermistor is rt potential at this point will be lower when rt is greater than resistance of r or we can say when the resistance is greater than 1000 we can also write down when rt is greater than 1000 ohms V out will be negative. For the second part, question is asking us at higher temperature when V out is positive, we need to suggest a suitable value for the thermistor. So we can write down here now when V out will be positive. V out will be positive V B when V B is greater than V a in this case v out will be positive so this is the first thing you need to understand v out will be positive when potential at this point means that this terminal is greater than potential at this terminal so when this is possible this is possible when resistance of thermistor is less than resistance of fixed resistor r or we can simply say when rt is less than 1000 ohms it has to be less than 1000 ohms this is how you can simply write down your answer.